Kaya, my people. This is episode three of Fluence Breaking Down the Bus. Today we have none other than the Afro R&B influence Adrian Zuke. Cheers for being in here. Hey, Thanks awesome, for having buddy. me. Thank you so much for being here, man. Um, look, we just want to know a bit about you, and we want to know a bit about your music. So that's what we're going to be getting into today. Sweet, brother. So. For those that may not know who you are at the block party, I'm sure that they're eager to get to know who you are. Yep. Um, could you tell us a bit about who you are, where you're from, and also how long you just made new music for? Yeah, man. So, yeah, my name's Adrian Zuke. I'm an artist based in Perth, Western Australia. I was born in Zimbabwe, Gweru, moved here when I was like 12. My parents, my dad got a job here, we all moved here. Awesome. Um, pretty much, yeah. So, I, I made kind of like the Afro R&B style, you know, and a lot of obviously Afro being from Zimbabwe. That's the influence from there, and then the R and B is kind of like that American side of yeah. side of things. So growing up, I had those two different influences, you know, with me. So yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I do, and um, yeah, that's I guess yeah, that's where so, that's where I'm from. That's where I am. When did you start making music? Yeah, I started making music when I was I think 12, because I remember my dad bought me like like one of those uh, you know the little toy like keyboard things. The ones you can change yeah. the sounds of? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like yeah. not like the not like the childish ones, but the ones that are still kind of like Yeah. They're still kind of toys, but they're like good enough to play. They are, they are, yeah. definitely. So I, like he got me one of those and I started playing around and then kind of found this software called Microcraft. And I started playing around with that and yeah. making my beats and stuff like that. So I think yeah, when I was yeah, when I was 12, and that's when I kind of delved into it. Yeah. See. So we as artists, I guess, we listen to a lot of other artists as well. We grow mm. up on music. What have you experienced growing up musically that sort of shaped and moulded your sound and who you are as an artist these days? That's a really good question. I think, um, yeah, like I think I mentioned before, being from Zimbabwe, the African sound has always been with me, you know, growing up with my parents, listening to all the, you know, whoever was popping at that time. Yeah. And having a lot of like gospel influences as well, because I, I learned a lot about music in church as well. Yep. And obviously having the, the music that I found myself, you know, the, the American kind of sound. Uh, I'd probably say the, mo- the biggest influences are like Wizkid, Burner Boy, uh, which is actually the, the African side of things. Yep. And then you have like Drake, you know, I love Drake, I love yeah. Frank Ocean, I love uh, Childish Gambino. Wow. So there's, that mix is, I think, is me. Yep. Um, yeah, I might have forgotten some, but I think those are like the people that I, I look to for like inspiration. Yeah, I think if they're the first ones that come to your mind, they're probably the ones. Yeah, that yeah, the yeah. Most in the music yeah. for sure. Yeah. Awesome, man. That's that's awesome. Great artist too. I think another important part of us as artists and the duty that we have is like we sort of project the world of society that we live in. We yeah. we talk about that, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I think people look to artists. To find out what's actually happening in a society, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. It's, it's almost the most accurate but truthful way to even find out what's going on. Um, what sort of events or things have shaped or created the way that you make your music? Yeah, I think it's my upbringing. Just you know, my, my family was very involved in the, the church side of things. My dad was one of the the, the the team leaders in the church band. So I kind of, you know, grew up playing drums and stuff like that in church. But growing up and what has I started to find my own, I guess, like bit in the world. Um, you know, moving to Australia and everything, I kind of saw that there wasn't you know, when I started playing gigs live and doing gigs and stuff like that, I, I found that there wasn't a lot a lot of people like me, people that looked like me, mm. that were in the on the stages except for me. So I I guess at this point in my life I'm in a stage where I want to put on for those people, you know, I want to, you know, use this African sound, the R&B, like, like bring that to this world and, and really yeah. project that onto this Australian land. So, yeah, I think that's, that's the best way I can ask you a question, I think. That's so important too, because I feel like what we're trying to achieve with Block Party is black cultures that all live and, you know, coincide with each other here in Perth mm-hmm. can come together on one stage and actually yeah. show that harmonious way that we can all sort of collaborate and be together yeah. and that in in turn I hope is a way for us to sort of build foundations for yeah. people that are like us to yeah. be able to come up and make music and, and perform live just, just yeah. to see our own faces up there yeah. no 100% important part. I think there's like a there's like an unspoken I guess divide within like subcultures I, I think in, in in Perth or like in, in Australia because I yeah, feel in Australia, yeah. yeah I feel as if there is like you know you obviously have like you know the the, the, 
the Western culture, the wine culture, as per se, and then everything else that's not white is just kind of like, you know, like put in together, but it's so diverse, and yeah. it should be, it should all be, you know. Well, respect okay. the diverse, have its own merit. Yeah, its own merit, yeah, yeah. And, um, but even within that, I think, because people obviously relate to what they relate to, mm. I'm gonna find myself maybe hanging out more with African people, you know, and like a different person that comes from a different place who hang out with the people that come from that different place, you know what I mean? So yeah. I think this is really important, um, this whole show, this whole thing that's happening, to kind of bring that together and be like, hey, we all relate, we just do. differently, but yeah. very similarly as well at the same time, so let's do something together. So this is the exciting part of breaking down the bars, uh, the actual breaking down of the bars. <laughs> That's good. Uh, what track are we going to be doing? And uh, we're going to do July. July? What yeah. verse? July is the first verse. First verse. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Don't say what you don't know. Uh, don't rush, baby, go slow. Hey, nice hair with a pretty face. Uh, but a song you already know. Hey, pool side down in Malibu. Uh, how you lost so incredible, yeah. Everybody wanna taste, but you got something I like. Right bottom, so she walk by. Uh, bad thing, mommy, no lie. Uh, nah, she just wanna ball out. Uh, no limits on a black card, hey. But daddy paid a bill though. Uh, uptown is a postcode, yeah. Everybody wanna taste, but you got something I like. That's the first verse, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I have a bit of an idea of what that song's about. <laughs> but what did you explain it to us in your words? Oh <laughs> uh, well, I guess I guess the song is just pretty much about you know when you hanging out with the homies and you go out and you you know you meet someone and you want to vibe you know but you re but you realize this person is like maybe just out of your league or like you can tell that they just come from a different type of life you know they yeah. They got that black card, you know, they're <laughs> swiping everything, they got the expensive shoes. But you're like, you know, like, I ain't got that, but I got game, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro, so that's it. That, that's what it's logical, yeah, yeah. I feel you, I feel you. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. And um, as a final question, to end this segment, what can we expect from Adrian Zuke at Florence Bordeaux Block Party? What are we in for? Man, I, I just always bring the vibes. I think like that, that's the most important thing. Like it's I want people to have fun. So yeah, like I'll put every everything on that stage like every time. So yeah, awesome. yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure that many people are going to be looking forward to hearing you do your thing up on stage. And thank you so much for coming out and having me. Yeah, cheers. Thank bar. you for having me. Man. I appreciate awesome, it. Have man. a good one. That's myself and Adrian Zuke at Fluence Forward and Block Party with a whole bunch of dope artists. The tickets are in the link below. Don't be that person that misses out. You'll be spewing. Take it right now.